Oh, big sister, <laughs> I need to speak with you. It's actually really important, so listen up. You know, I'm really sorry about this, but can you please go and get a divorce from Todd? He actually just proposed to me. <laughs> what are you talking about, Leah? Are, are you serious? Todd proposed to you, whatever for? What? Don't you believe me? <laughs> I know you're in denial right now, but it's true. It's because Todd doesn't love you anymore. He can't stand to look at you. <laughs> He's in quite a rush to get married to me. <laughs> we want to have cute babies and raise them together. So we hope a nuisance will disappear once you divorce Todd. <laughs> now, just hang on a minute, Leah. You're kidding me, right? You both aren't actually going to do this to me, are you? Did you really get a proposal from my husband? Have you both been having an affair behind my back? Well, yeah, that's most of the reason behind his proposal. We've been dating each other. What's the problem with that? I was just trying to comfort him because he married such a trashy woman. I can't help that Todd fell in love with me because of that. You're telling me I'm a trashy woman? How could you say that to your own sister? Didn't Todd tell you that he wanted to have children? Because of you being infertile, he's not going to be able to have them, is he? I feel so sorry for Todd as he married such a useless woman who says nothing but trash all day. <laughs> I am much younger than you and I'll be able to get pregnant really easily. <laughs> Are you for real? You think that you can just treat me like this? How could you? Oh, look at my sister. You've always been so resourceful and intelligent. I really hated you for it. Even our parents told me that you're their favorite and that they're so proud of you. But I didn't realize how defective you are when it comes to carrying children. <laughs> so I'm just going to take your husband. It's over, Polly. Your plans for the future have completely failed. <laughs> Why are you even doing this to me? Did I do something to you that I haven't been told about? I've already explained it to you, Polly. I just hate everything about you. <laughs> I just don't like you because you've always been the honor student in the show off. <laughs> so you just wanted to take my life away from me by having an affair with Todd, my husband? Well, yeah, of course. Now you need to get a move on and file for a divorce from Todd so we can get married. <laughs> I intend to make Todd the happiest man on the planet, so get on with it. You can be miserable and alone forever while I give him children. <laughs> what the heck is going on with you and my sister, Todd? Did you seriously just propose to her? Is this for real? Oh wow, you contacted me before even I could. It saves me from telling you what's been going on, so thanks for that. Since we're still married and I want to marry someone else, you need to sign the divorce papers today. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening right now. How could you betray me like this, Todd? It's been three years since we got married, Polly. But you've not given me any children during that time, and my parents got mad at me because of it. You're a useless woman that I no longer need in my life. I want to show my parents the faces of their cute grandchildren as soon as possible. So you decided to just stab me in the back and have an affair with my sister, Leah? Hey, she was the one that was supporting me through all the suffering that I was going through with you. <laughs> she comforted me as you weren't having any luck getting pregnant. Besides, she'll be able to give me children because she's way younger than you. I'm sure she'll be able to have a child real soon. My parents will also be happy that my new wife's younger than the old one, so we've got a better chance to have kids. <laughs> You said that you were happy with me. Have you told your parents that you've gotten married again to Leah? Of course I told them. They're my parents after all. They're very happy to hear the news of Leah and I. They'll be able to meet their grandchildren soon enough. <laughs> they surely weren't initially happy to hear about what you've done. That can't be right. I wanted to be the one to see the cute faces of our children before anyone else. You call me useless even though you didn't cooperate with me when it came to the fertility treatment. And then in the end, you just decided to cheat on me instead? Why? Polly, you're infertile, so how am I supposed to have children with you? <laughs> Treatment's only for women. <laughs> how can a man help out in a fertility treatment? Uh, there's loads of tests that the men can do to make sure that everything is okay and that you're healthy. We can't decide on a treatment plan unless we first find out the cause of the infertility. Do you seriously think there's a reason to why I can't have children? My parents were in their teens when I was born. <laughs> they had five more children. It's in my parents' blood that they can make a lot of children. Of course, I'll have no problems as well. 
It's not that I doubt you, Todd. However, it seems that even if a couple's both healthy, you can still become infertile due to stress or another physical condition. First of all, it's important to undergo a thorough examination at the hospital to make sure everything's working as it should. Oh, shut up, Polly. I've already made the decision to get a divorce from you. Nothing you say is going to change anything. But you need to sign the divorce paper so I can move on. You use this to me, so you need to leave. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. I guess there's no point in saying anything more to you. I'll divorce and move out as you wish, Todd. You can go ahead and have cute children and I'll leave you alone. I hope you get what you've wished for. Why, hello there, big sister. It's been a while since we last spoke. <laughs> I was wondering if you're doing all right. Is that the case? Are you still miserable that your younger and more attractive sister stole your husband away? <laughs> Are you still having regrets about Todd? Hello, Leah. I don't have any regrets on letting Todd go to be with you. I'm actually doing really well. I feel so good. And you? <laughs> oh, really now? You're being so strong. You know you don't have to be in front of me. I'm actually messaging you because I've got an announcement to make to my big sister. I gave birth to Todd's baby. Oh, have you? You were actually pregnant? Yes, I immediately got pregnant with his child after we got married. It's quite important to be young in order to get pregnant. Oh, is that really so, Leah? I'm so sorry for only telling you about it now. I just didn't want to rub it in your face too much. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to contact you as soon as I found out I was pregnant, but the morning sickness was more painful than I imagined, so I didn't bother. I was just so busy preparing for the birth that I didn't have the time or energy to contact you at all. As a big sister, you understand, right? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't think someone who can't get pregnant would understand what I went through anyways. <laughs> Excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? But you know how cute a newborn baby can be, right? Soft, warm, and super cute. I think you should come over and meet our new baby. Are you kidding me? You want me to go over there and meet your child? Well, of course, it's fine. You're its auntie, after all. Come and say hello to your adorable little niece. So you gave birth to a little girl, then. I suppose Todd's really happy now. He always said that he wanted a little girl. Yeah, he's overjoyed with the news of our daughter's birth. When she was born, he was so overwhelmed with joy and emotion that he cried. His parents and siblings are as well. Aren't you happy for us, too? Yeah, it's amazing news that everyone's really happy for your bundle of joy. Besides, he's going to be so involved with taking care of the child. He said she's my daughter and the cutest baby in the world. He felt so happy. She's got the most adorable face, but I'm sure she won't show you as you're an infertile woman. <laughs> He'll be able to show his true feelings in front of his child and how much he wanted one. <laughs> Well, you both sound really happy with each other. I'm glad that I was able to get a divorce from him then. If he and I were to continue our married life, we'd both be unhappy. I can't forgive you for your betrayal, but maybe this was the best thing to happen. Of course it was, Polly. I was finally able to do something that my older sister couldn't do. I'm different from you in the sense that I can get pregnant quickly and give birth to healthy children. And you're a defect. No matter how smart and resourceful you are, you're a useless woman who's defective and can't get pregnant. It's finally been proven that I'm officially better than my sister after all. <laughs> Excuse me? Just because you're able to get pregnant, it makes you better than me? It's been a dream of mine that the day would come when I would finally beat my sister at something. <laughs> Just hold up a second, Leah. Don't you dare judge me as being incapable of bearing children. Just because I wasn't able to get pregnant with Todd, it doesn't mean that I'm completely infertile. And what's that supposed to mean? In the three years you were with Todd, you didn't give him any children, so what are you even saying? You were married for that long and never got pregnant, so doesn't that mean you're incapable of carrying children? There's no other explanation. But I still wonder if that's really the case, though. Don't be so stubborn and just admit that you're defective. Just admit defeat and bring my daughter a baby gift, all right? As the aunt, it's the least you can do for your niece. Come over and see the baby. Okay, sure. I'll bring my son and my husband as well. I'm not interested in winning or losing, but I don't need to celebrate. 
It's complicated, but my newborn's probably just as cute as my little niece. I guess we'll come over right away tomorrow. Have you been discharged from the hospital already and have you gone home with Todd? No, wait, just hold on a second. We need to rewind here. What the heck are you talking about right now? What do you mean your husband and son will come over with you? Are you saying that you've remarried? Actually, yes. Right after Todd and I got divorced, I happened to meet someone who's really lovely and sweet to me. There was not really any need to tell you about it, so I didn't say a word about him. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> okay, very funny. That's hilarious, Polly. <laughs> you got me. Aren't you the big sister who's infertile and divorced? Do you really think there's someone out there that would marry such a useless woman? <laughs> Why are you being like this? Who's useless, Leah? I don't think it's me. Could it be that his son's actually your stepchild? Uh, that he was already born? You adopted someone else's child because you couldn't carry one yourself. <laughs> it's tough being defective, I know. I can't believe you're raising a child that's not even related to you. <laughs> Would you stop talking to me like this when you don't know my whole situation? My husband and I have a son together. He's my child and I gave birth to him. He was born last month, so of course he's related to me by blood. Don't be so ridiculous. Wait, what? I'm confused. You actually did give birth to a baby? Oh my god, I am so embarrassed by this conversation. Of course I did. I'm in a loving and caring marriage, so having a child was easy. We started dating each other and we basically had a child right away. He said thank you for giving me a child to love and care for. He then proposed to me and said I'm ready for this responsibility and to make a family with me. We'd only been dating for about a month and then he proposed. It was a very speedy change in our relationship, but it felt right. <laughs> that's... that's insane and can't be true. But your body wouldn't allow you to carry children. How is it possible? There is absolutely no way that you just get pregnant after only dating a guy for a month. It takes more work than that. It's no lie, Leah. And if you think it is, I can't help that you think that. I'll admit the stress of the divorce was huge and I was thinking it wasn't going to be possible. It's said that stress is the biggest contributor to not getting pregnant. I was under a lot of pressure from Todd and his parents to produce a child and grandchild for them. Every day I'd have severe stomach aches and when my period came it was heavy and had a toll on me mentally. Those sorts of conditions were affecting me getting pregnant. This is crazy. I don't believe this. I thought I was able to defeat my sister in being able to reproduce. How on earth were you able to give birth to a child? Anyways, your child and my child will be cousins. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, Leah. Are you telling people lies again, Polly? You didn't seriously just give birth, did you? The child you brought over today was just an extra, right? You're paying a family for a baby to act? Your husband and child must have been employed somewhere to do this. Where the heck could I borrow a one-month-old baby actor from, Todd? Are you kidding me? My husband and child are real. I divorced you and started a new life with them. So that means you got pregnant immediately after you got a divorce then? Doesn't that seem like it's my fault? You're making it seem like it's my fault that you couldn't get pregnant. What are you saying, Todd? We just weren't compatible for each other. Things like this can happen if you change partners. I refuse to believe that. Just wait a minute and let me think. There was a similar development in a drama I watched recently. After kicking out his infertile wife, she unexpectedly got pregnant with another man's child. The reason for her infertility was to do with her previous husband. But weren't you able to have a child with my sister, Leah? The drama is still going on, though. The children of the infertile husband and his second wife aren't actually related by blood. It turns out that it was his second wife that was sleeping with another man and making it that the child belongs to the infertile husband. But that can't actually happen, right? Besides, it would be so bad of Leah to have done that to you knowing that you might not be able to give her children. It was your wish to have a child, but I was able to give birth to a baby. Well, that may be true, but I don't know what's going on. Isn't it okay that we're both happy now since we both have children? Look, I've got a new partner and a cute little one to look after. Let's each of us create a safe and loving home for ours, okay? I gotta go. Take care. What the heck do you think you're playing at, Polly? What did you say to Todd? My family's on the verge of collapsing because of you. This is all your fault. What are you talking about, Leah? 
Todd just suddenly asked for a DNA test on our child. He wants to find out if his daughter's really his child. I can't believe you'd say such vicious comments to him. I feel like you're the one that injected him with false information and now he's skeptical. I didn't say anything of the sort, little sister. You're just spitting powerful delusions into his head. He started to feel anxious about his family because he was watching a drama that was unfolding just like his real life situation. But our life's nothing like the crap he watches on TV. Even though I just gave birth and I had to deal with a lot of pain, I can't believe I'm being treated so suspiciously. I understand why you're angry about this, but you need to help him understand. If you would just give him the chance to prove it, then it would be things he just made up in his mind. Then he'll be able to calm down about the whole thing. If he wants me to prove it, that means I've got a huge problem on my hands. What would you do if you found out a child wasn't yours and it was some other guy's? Oh my god, this isn't good. What do I do, Polly? What should I do? I never thought that he'd say something like that to me. Maybe he suspected me before now? No, but that can't be true because I was able to hide it all from him. It was going to be the perfect plan. That's a bit of an intense reaction, Leah. Are you saying that your baby isn't Todd's? Well, I'm not 100% sure on that. The child looks a little bit like him, so maybe they're related. It might really just be his child, to be honest. A little bit like him. You don't sound certain at all. Are you saying that another of his relatives could be the dad? I'm not really sure. That can't be right, can it? Actually, it could be Todd's father's child. Are you kidding me? Are you saying that your own father-in-law could be the father to your child? This is insane. Well, it hasn't been confirmed, so don't you dare go spreading any rumors around. It's just a matter of possibility at this point. The possibility of this child not being Todd's isn't zero, at least. Oh, you're really in some crap now, little sister. What have you done? Why would you even want to touch Todd's father? But my father-in-law is really cool and suave. You know him, right? He started having kids in his teens, so he's still young. He's had five children and he's only in his 40s. He's totally within a respectable age range. What have you done? How's Todd going to handle this when he finds out? My head just suddenly started hurting. Uh, are you alright? Is it because you found out what's happened? Even if a DNA test was done, everything would still be okay, right? If the parent and child are related, then the blood would detect anything so they wouldn't find out, right? Please don't involve me any further with the mess you've made in their family. I'm trying to live a peaceful life with my new husband and child. I definitely don't want to be dragged into your crap anymore. I am very much done with you as a sister and as a person. But Polly, wait a minute. I'm your adorable little sister. Aren't you going to help me out with this? I can't do it on my own. I want to be with Todd and live happily too. You're not even going to help me out just a little bit? You've done nothing but cause me pain and heartache and now you're doing the same to your husband. I don't think I'd call you adorable. You need to sort out things on your own. You're good at coming up with ideas. Way better than your older sister. Good luck. You can't just do this to me or even to your ex-husband. Help me, please. No, both of you are not part of my family anymore. Leave me alone to bring up my baby with my husband. Don't contact me again. If you'll excuse me, I've got a life to live. <coughs> Once the test results came back to prove that Todd wasn't the father, it seemed like he asked for divorce from Leah. It also sounded like his parents were also looking at getting a divorce as well. There are no conversations happening between the two of them anymore. With all five of the children living in the neighborhood, they couldn't bring their girlfriends to parents like this and everyone moved away. While receiving child support from her father-in-law, Leah had become something of a single mother and was raising her child on her own. However, no one, including her own parents, helped her and rumors quickly spread among the people in their small town. No one wanted to be friends with a mom who lies about the paternity of their child. In a world that's got nothing to do with them, I'm building a wonderful life for my husband and my child. The future looks happy and bright. Thank you for watching till the end. If you felt good about this video, like the video. If you didn't like it, let me know why in the comments. Subscribe too. Your likes and subs lead to our motivation. We have so many videos on our channel as well, so go ahead and take a look. 
See you in the next video.